This video is about how to make reusable jar lids for liquid cultures and grain spawn jars for growing mushrooms. They have a self-healing injection port and a syringe filter. These jar lids allow for easy inoculation of grains or liquid cultures that have been sterilized. Metal or plastic jar lids can be used, but plastic jar lids are a good choice for liquid cultures as metal jar lids may start to rust after a while. These jar lids can be sterilized many times without warping or deforming and can be used in a pressure cooker or autoclave. I am using the Ball brand jar lids because they are reusable, heavy duty and leak proof. Two holes are drilled in the lids to fit the injection port and syringe filter. The size of the holes will depend on the size of the self-healing injection ports and syringe filters that you use. I used a half inch drill bit for the self-healing injection port and a number 18 or 0.1695 inch drill bit for the syringe filter. The self-healing ports prevent contamination from getting inside and makes inoculation very easy. The syringe filter allows for adequate air and gas exchange while keeping bacteria and other contaminants out. In this video, I use a 0.45 micron syringe filter, but it's better to use a 0.2 micron filter. The injection port and syringe filter are also sealed with RTV high temperature silicon. The syringe filter is sanded to make it rougher so it sticks to the silicon better. Some alternatives to syringe filters are breathable synthetic filter discs, micropore tape, cotton balls, or polyfill stuffing. An alternative for the rubber self-healing injection port is to make one with the high temperature silicone. This can be done by making a small hole in the jar lid and adding some silicone on top of the hole. For metal canning lids, a hole can be made by drilling or with a hole punch. After the silicon is added, it can be flattened a bit with a damp paper towel. All of these alternatives serve the same purpose, but may be cheaper if you want to save some money.